What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with some upgrades for the LC80. This is one of my favorite little 18th scale trucks to drive. I've kind of been on the hard body kick lately with the 10th scale and this kind of fits right in. And so when I seen Enjoy release their helical cut overdrive gears for the FCX axles, I had to pick up a set for this truck. And then I got a couple sets for some other trucks. I did buy these because as soon as they released, I just wanted to get them ordered. Uh, I don't like to go ask these companies for anything, so I just ordered some. And then they actually emailed me and asked if I wanted to check them out. So I was like, sure, send some more. You know, I've got a lot of FCX axles around here. But these here I did purchase, but they were sending me some. So, um, And then I've got this kinetic strap for this truck. Now, this has a printed bumper on it, so probably not going to do a whole lot of good trying to pull on anything. But I thought for the scale look, we would throw this on there. And then hopefully at some point, I'm going to print me an interior for this or make something work. And then cut this glass out. I kind of like the tint here. I don't know. I haven't decided what I want to do, but definitely want a clear windshield. But besides that, I really like this truck the way it is. You know, it's 100% stock besides brass inner and outer portal covers, front and rear, just to give it that weight down low. But today we're going to be installing these gears. I'm going to go test this on the incline board with the stock gears then we're going to put the overdrive in there and do the same thing and see if we gain anything i don't know if it'll really show a lot but i do feel like overdrive is a necessary thing in pretty much every crawler so um, we're going to see about how much we get out of these gears and uh, then just see if it helps on the incline board now these are like 13 bucks a piece or i think you can get two of them for 23 dollars or something i don't remember you can get two sets of overdrive. You can get an overdrive and a stock. So if you want to replace like this had the plastic gears in it, these right here. Um, so obviously these are going to be much stronger. Uh, so for like 23 bucks, you can do both. So it's nice that they give us the option. We can have overdrive or stock or whatever you want to do. So um, let's get these installed, test it out, see how it affects the truck. All right, just so you guys had a little better view. <clears throat> and not of my AC unit. <laughs> I moved you over here, but I did remove this spare tire off the back. It was kind of hanging up on the bottom here a little bit, but I wanted to see what this thing would climb. And right now we're sitting at about 47.7. I'm not a big fan of these tires on here. They, they're they a little big, they really raise it up. I kind of like the swampers I had on it before. So I feel like it climbed a little better with the swampers just because they're a smaller tire and it sat a little bit lower, but. You can see this thing's really not getting much more than this. I tried and it, at times it struggles with this. So um, 47.5, somewhere in there. So we'll install the overdrive in here and we'll see what we get. So for the LC80 here, I went ahead and pulled the body because the upper screws in the steering blocks were hard to get to. This is one of the things I don't really like about the FCX axles is this is just a two piece axle here you don't have a diff cover so you can't just take the four screws out of the diff cover to access the gear um, which you obviously would have to take your steering knuckles loose to pull your axle shafts out just a little bit but most trucks you can take these screws out on the steering block kind of separate it a little bit pull your diff cover and you can get to everything but with this design you have to take the entire front half of the axle off so it's a little more work and then we take our drive shaft loose to get to this gear in here, which seems to be stuck a bit. So that took a little persuasion there. So to pull the pinion gear here, you gotta take this screw out. This is one thing that usually fails with these gears is this inside of the gear here that has this sort of D shape will oval out and this gear will spin. So a lot of people strip their gear on this inside and they can't figure out where it's stripped. They, the teeth look fine because it's not stripping the teeth. It strips the inside of it here. And so this will just spin on this shaft. The other thing is when you replace these with the metal gears, you want to lock tight that screw because I've had those come loose. On this one, Enjora actually gives us a solid shaft and gear. And these are the helical cut gears, so they're not a straight gear. They're gonna be stronger, should be, hopefully. So we're gonna get these in here, get some grease thrown on them and get this all back together and then test it out. 
All right, we've got the overdrive installed in the front. I marked the tires with tape just so you can see it in action. This is around 20% overdrive, so you'll see we're one full turn and about a quarter off on the rear, so around that 20% is supposed to be. But the front definitely is spinning a little faster than the rear, so that's gonna help us pull up and over things. So let's go try the incline board and see what our result is now. All right, so we were getting basically this right here at 47.4 earlier. And you can really see that front grabbing and pulling. So let's try this uh, 48.7. It's pulling that. Barely. Obviously, like I said before, I think I'm going to go back to a smaller tire on this because it, it just lowered everything and it seemed to perform better with a little bit smaller tire. But this overdrive is definitely an upgrade. So a one degree gain on the incline is really pretty consistent with what I've always seen when adding overdrive. You know, I don't have any overdrive in the portals of this truck and that's previously all we had for the FCX axles. But just adding these ring and pinion gears uh, gave us that one degree boost so it's definitely a good upgrade and it also gets rid of the plastic gears in there these seem to work fine without any binding or grinding or anything i didn't have to shim them anything like that i just put the bearings on them tossed them in put some grease on them they were good so um it kind of takes the question out of a lot of people ask me what gears to get for the fcx axles because We've had so much problems getting a gear that is smooth, and I've honestly just been still taking the old FMS open diff and locking it up and throwing in most of these trucks. That's why I really hadn't did it to this one yet because I just hadn't needed it, but um, this is definitely a good upgrade even if you're just going with the stock gears. I think um, Enjoy did a really good job with these gears, and they seem to work well and should be way stronger than stock for sure and even our usual metal gears from fms having the helical cut gear so you guys let me know what you think about it i'm enjoying this little truck it does calm pretty good and um, it's just a lot of fun to drive so let me know what you think about it i appreciate you guys sticking around don't forget to like subscribe click the bell peace